Fox 13's Haley Hines is live in Tampa to explain his effort to stop the spam calls once and for all. All right, what does he say, Haley? Well, you've probably gotten a few of those calls about your car's extended warranty unsolicited. They're, for most of us, uh, pretty annoying. They're frustrating and uh, just kind of become part of everyday life. But the truth is, uh, these calls can cause real harm. They can lead to fraud. They can ruin lives. We've even heard of scams targeting Alzheimer's patients. U.S. Representative Charlie Crist is pushing for a way to get these spammers to hang up for good. He is urging the Department of Justice to not only prioritize the collection of fines levied against spam callers. He wants them to consider increasing the penalties to include jail time. Chris's spam calls task force was created by the Traced Act in January of 2020. The DOJ's October report found it did lead to hundreds of millions of fewer robocalls per month. While it's a start, Floridians are still being bombarded by millions of those spam calls each month. And try to take advantage of you. Try to take your money, uh, take you away from, you know, quality time with your family. Uh, if that's not a crime, I don't know what is. And so it seems to me that if that does occur and we're able to track them down, the Department of Justice can help us do that very effectively, then there ought to be jail time imposed for people who do that kind of thing. It's terrible. And looking at the numbers, in October, there were an estimated 4.1 billion spam calls in the U.S., according to robocall blocker app Umail. That's 1,500 calls per second, with an average of 12.5 calls per person. The Tampa area accounted for more than 46 million of those calls. So will the threat of jail time be enough to curb these incessant calls? And uh, how difficult is it to actually track down these callers? Coming up at 11, a robocall expert weighs in on what it will finally take to stop the ringing in our ears. Kelly. I think we would all be very happy about that. All right, Haley Hines, thank you so much, Haley. As they say, it's the little things, you know.